Marcy Degman, the aspiring gardener, and today we're going to talk about hiding bulb foliage. Now, this is probably the best way to hide it is under another plant. Here I have a western sword fern, and in the spring, I cut back the old foliage and then it gets new foliage. Well, at that time, the leaves are very sparse. So when this flowering bulb comes up, the leaves of the fern are cut back and I'm able to enjoy that. By the time it starts to wither like this, the foliage covers it up. So I don't even have to worry about this one. But what do you do when you have a bulb out in the open and you don't want to look at the unsightly foliage after the flower is finished? Well, this one's already starting to turn brown. And once that is brown, you can yank it up, no problem. But when it's still green like this, you want to leave that foliage so that this leaf can continue to make food for that bulb because that's going to affect next year's flower. So what you can do if you don't have foliage to cover it like this, is you can take and you can tie it in a knot, you can fold it away, you can take, some people tie it, they, they rubber band it, whatever they have to do to keep it down. And the best thing to do is just to have plants around it. So once you've done that, you don't have to look at that foliage. But whatever you do, don't take it up until it's brown like this. That'll make next year's flower a lot nicer. And that's how you hide bulb foliage.